up guys welcome back and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you a little hack for the rings. So what I'm going to be essentially showing you today is a cheap way of creating an iron cross trainer at home. Now an iron cross trainer is something that's been used in gymnastics for years now and it's basically a way of reducing the length of your arms when training straight arm work on the ring. When we talk about body weight training, especially straight arm work, we talk in terms of levers and leverage. So leverage is the mechanical advantage gained by using a lever. In the book Overcoming Gravity by Stephen Lowe, which if you haven't got it is an incredible book that pretty much influences all of my body weight training and skills approach. He talks about our bones as the levers, our joints as the fulcrums, and our muscles as the force that's being applied to them. This is basic physics of levers. And this is so true in straight arm work, especially on the ring. So the iron cross trainer essentially reduces the length of your lever by whatever setting you choose to set it to. So being closer towards the elbow is gonna be easier and being as far away as the wrist is gonna be the hardest because that's the longest lever. You don't wanna go any further past the elbow because we actually want to be conditioning the elbow to make the tendon strong so that we can eventually do the iron cross or straight arm chest flies or planche on the rings, etc. So today's video, I'm just gonna show you a quick hack of how to recreate this at home for 30th of the price that it would cost to buy an iron cross trainer. Iron cross trainers are really, really great, and obviously this hack isn't gonna be quite as good, but instead of spending that $150, $200, or 100 pounds that you would be spending on the iron cross trainer, this is only gonna cost you $10 or five pounds. So it's quite a lot cheaper, obviously not as good, but it's definitely useful. And if it's something you wanna pursue further, then maybe it's worth investing in the proper equipment or going to a gymnastics club to train. All you're gonna need for this, guys, is obviously a pair of rings, but all I've been using really are these ankle weight straps. Now, the reason I chose ankle weight straps is because they come with these really handy rings. You can use just literally regular straps and it will work just as well. I will put a link in the description down below to the exact pair of ankle straps that I bought and maybe some examples of just regular straps as well as Stephen Lowe's book, which I mentioned earlier. You wanna make sure you have relatively thick straps simply because quite a lot of pressure is gonna be going through these. If you have a really thin strap, it's just gonna be really uncomfortable and potentially be dangerous. Once you've got your straps, once you've got your rings, we can jump into how to set up this hack so you can start training. So as I mentioned, this is gonna be particularly useful for the straight arm moves on the rings. So this would include, at the most extreme end, the iron cross or the planche on the rings. It will also help with doing straight arm chest flies and it probably will actually help with just your ring support holes as it's gonna add a little bit of stability to those holds. So once you get your straps and once you get your rings, first step we wanna do is throw up our straps onto whatever we're gonna be holding our rings on. Once we've got the straps all the way around, the next thing you wanna do only applies if you have a ring on your straps. If you don't have that little ring on your straps, then you don't have to worry about this bit. But before we hang our rings on our straps that we've just thrown up, we're gonna basically pull through the ring that we've got for these makeshift iron cross trainers. Then we can connect those straps up to our rings and we kind of, just as you would normally in a normal position, but you're gonna have these straps kind of floating midway up that you can kind of move about. And that's exactly where you want it. You're gonna find your position with one of your arms on the rings and all you're gonna do, you're gonna strap your makeshift iron cross trainer to around your forearm. Now it's best here to start off easy, so you wanna go kind of about an inch down from your elbow. You don't wanna be on the joint itself, you wanna be just before it, but that is gonna be the easiest position. If you're feeling confident, you can go harder, but you definitely wanna take it easy when you're going into this, you don't wanna be too fast. You can then hop up onto your rings or whatever position you want to be in, and then we can perform our move. So as I said, this will be helpful for maybe even something as basic as the ring support hold, as it's gonna give you a little bit more stabilization when you're in that basic position. I've been using it quite a lot for these straight arm chest fly push-ups because it takes so much pressure off your elbows because you're bringing, especially for me, I'm bringing the end points of that lever in about 30 centimeters. So it's making it a hell of a lot easier. I'm not getting any pain in my elbows. I'm just feeling a really good contraction and it feels like a great conditioning for them. You could even venture into some iron cross training, although I wouldn't recommend this until you have a really good solid ring support hold. In fact, I'll put a link in the description down below to a post that Coach Summer from Gymnastic Bodies made about the proper progression to working up to an iron cross. And that definitely involves using these 
iron cross trainers but there are definitely some preliminary steps you want to take first before jumping into this because you can as i said damage your tendons and injure yourself and that takes a long time to recover one so i don't want that but that is essentially the hack guys you can go wild with this find some cool exercises as i said i will link in the description down below to a few examples and you would have seen a few examples of me but it is really really simple i just thought i wanted to share it with you because i thought it was really cool i've been enjoying having a play and doing some of these weird moves it's just a bit of fun something to mix up your training something to help you progress at those very small increments of steps and also something to be safer with your training and progress sensibly because when it comes to tendon conditioning and tendon training which to be honest a lot of gymnastic skills and bodyweight skills come down to that tendon strength and this takes a long time to develop so using these sort of hacks can be really really helpful to progress slowly so we don't injure ourselves and we actually get stronger at the end of it if you have any questions or queries then leave a comment down below and I will get back to you and help you out if I can. If you enjoyed this video guys please hit the thumbs up button and help support the channel and lastly if you have a friend who you think will be interested in this gymnastic skills training hack and they're a bit short on cash then hit them up with this tutorial and share it. But that has been it for today you guys. Have a strong week and peace.